Hi, I'm Anne from Your Life Choices, and today we've got a few simple tips which, if followed, can help you to save up to $2,500 a year. Whether you're getting ready for retirement or already retired, saving money is never easy. The key is looking at the big picture. It's easy to justify expenses in the short term because it's only a couple of dollars. But if you look at the costs over a month or even a year, you might think otherwise about your spending. To get things started, are you buying a cup of coffee every day? Such a small cost can be easy to justify, especially if you're employed full or part-time. But cutting back on just two cups per week will stack up in the long run. If you keep this yearly figure of nearly $400 in mind, you'll have a much easier time knocking back those extra couple of coffees. Eating out at restaurants is fun and social, but cutting out one restaurant meal per month will save you $30 or more monthly. Over a whole year, this will add up to $360. You could also consider only drinking water while you're out, which is much healthier and usually free, as long as you don't purchase bottled water. Another place where money often gets spent unnoticed is during your grocery shopping. If you stick to a strict shopping list, you can probably save about $15 a week. And over a year, this would add up to $720. And while you're shopping, remember to save any petrol vouchers printed with your receipt. These might not seem like they're worth it, but even a small saving of $2.50 a week on your petrol will add up to $120 saved by the end of the year. If you travel, why not consider house swapping rather than paying for accommodation? A single week of hotel accommodation can cost over $500. House swapping can save you this money and you'll also be helping the homeowner save money too. Shopping for gifts can cost a lot over the year, but understandably, some people don't want to cut back on giving to their friends and family. Try making a list of all the gifts you need to buy for the year and keep an eye out for the sales rather than paying full price for last minute purchases. Lots of families also do Kris Kringle or Secret Santa at Christmas time to save money. Do you currently pay for a mobile phone and data plan as well as a landline? Even a budget landline plan is likely to cost you around $30 a month. If you can cut this out, you'll be saving $360 a year. Cinemas can also surprise you with prices. Did you know that some cinemas make 40% of their profits from food sales? Try bringing your own food and drinks. It's also worth checking if your local theatre has a discount ticket night or a seniors discount. This can easily save you at least $10 each visit. And if you go to the movies once a month, that's $120 extra saved at the end of the year. Now, if we tally up all of these savings for the whole year, we get $2,664. If you keep this figure in mind, that next cup of coffee might not seem quite so vital. Our last tip today is to visit your bank and set up an automatic transfer to move a portion of your income to a savings or high interest account. Make sure not to set aside too much as it's best to start off saving a little and then increase the amount you set aside over time. You'll find it's much easier to avoid spending this money if it's separate from your everyday funds. If you follow our suggestions, you'll be well on your way to saving over $2,500 a year. Have a look below for a printable version, which you can also edit to add in your own savings. And if you have any savings tips that work for you, why not share them in the comments below? Thanks for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you next time. Today I'm going to show you how you can sort your apps on your iPhone or your iPad by creating folders. 